Hi, Scorpio. I hope that you're finding yourself well. Thanks for joining for your Capricorn season reading. Uh, if you're returning, welcome back. Those of you who are brand spanking new, listen, I'm just real spiritual on my channel. It's real talk here. It's very sobering uh, energy. It really is. And um, I, I just I don't even know what to say about these readings. Um, obviously, Capricorn energy is hardcore stuff. They actually hold the uh, devil card in the deck. And most Capricorns are very, uh, they're, they're very much um, structured and hardworking and stuff like that. But the devil energy is, is, is uh, uh, it's real, it's real stuff. It, it, this 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 house is um, something else. I'll just say that the, the, just you you just need to brace yourself. I can't even talk with you all. But I, I literally am just uh, blown away at what the great divine is bringing out in these readings. So if if it doesn't give you a fear on the inside to know that the Elohim of the universe is really looking down in people's hearts and judging a thing, there's something wrong with you. Because we're really getting some hardcore stuff on these readings. So if you are new, I'm not religious or, or churchy. I'm just spiritual and I don't put the spirit in a box, but I am connecting with Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth. And I do understand how the celestial uh, zodiac chart and things like that work and, and, and beans in the earth and things that, that where we're at in prophecy and fallen entities and things that I talk about all the time. That stuff is real. Angels and demons and stuff like that. And so he's judging that kind of energy right now. And if you're not judging it, then you're on that side and you're getting judged. So you better hurry up if you can hear today to do the right thing because these energies are huge people they really are but if you stay welcome and if not then this is where you're going to click off because it's going to be really intense i'm sure so scorpio let's just go ahead and look into your energy and see what yohova wants you to know for this capricorn season all right thank you yohova for clear to find messages for scorpio energy yohova just rebuke and bind and block every foul demonic witchcraft familiar spirit warlock of any anything anything that would bring a hindrance in this realm in any way shape or form we speak life and not death we just thank you for clear uh, profound energies that they need to know about scorpio always remember that I'm talking to some Scorpios that are fantastic and in the upright. And I thank you for being that way in the earth. I'm also talking to uh, some Scorpios that are not that way and they're dead and they're of no worth. Okay, some of you are alive, some of you aren't. And uh, I'm also speaking to, at times, your cross watcher. Only you and I know who we are. And uh, so, it, it, the energy that comes out here, if you have found yourself in this energy in the past, but you've come out of it, then there's no condemnation for you. Who find themselves in the Mashiach, the Mashiach is an anointing that destroys that yoke, and you're clear. Uh, you must teach from that place, though, okay? That's karmic activity that comes back around, and, uh, it, it, you know, if we're not pulling people out from places where we've been found, then something wrong if you keep going back into some type of condemnation. But we got people who don't care. They're seared at their heart, and they must be judged, and uh, Jehovah's going to cu uh, cut them apart. We've had energies already come out uh, for that stuff. So, anyway... Uh, this is a homemade deck of living, uh, the living Hebrew uh, language is actually found within the tarot. If you didn't know that, yes, it's found in the tarot. Um, but it's words and stuff that Jehovah's also had me just sit down and to um, write things upon uh, the cards as his spirit has told me to write. Okay, so this is going to be your energy that we're going to look at for the season. So Jehovah, you just uh, pick through my hands, please, for Scorpio energy. Uh, and let them know what you need uh, them to know. Uh, we have something that's been bound. We've got ropes here and uh, something that had been, maybe you work with ropes, I don't know. But something had been bent or there's spoil here. There's um, somebody's been trying to prevail. There's somebody that got hurt within a situation. Something Somebody's also corrupt. For some of you all within this rope and this binding um, energy that's come out here. Uh, also, spiritually speaking, we're told that people have uh, deceitful ropes, cords that try to, you know, lure you into things spiritually. Some of this energy will be spiritual. Uh, some of it will be mental, physical, emotional. Just take it as it's going to apply, as always, on any of my readings. 
And we have this too shall pass and I only have eyes for you. And there's a love interest that, uh, that that's either known about already happening or there's a love interest that's written on this card that energetically both people know how they feel about one another and it's truthful here. Okay, whether you're with that person or not, both parties are truthful. Both parties are energetically tuned into it. They know about it. And there's something here that's been hurt within the process of something. There's somebody's got the mark of the beast on them. Well, listen, we had the, the divine city is going to burn a witch. Okay, we are in this time prophecy. So the mark of the beast is here. We know it. People, we know it. There's not going to be too many people making out of this thing. Uh, so we have somebody who possibly has designed something or planned something that somebody's in their imagination. They're very cunning here with their devices and things like that. Um, so we also have custody issues going on. And we also have people that's going to go into custody as well. So, you know, your energy can go back to FBI stuff. And actually, the Fox card came out in the Libra reading. And I stated that the Fox is the energy of the 666, which is going to take you back to the beast. So, that's here. Um, but that's also my FBI card. And they have to be just as cunning to get this crap out of the earth. But So, the custody stuff is here for some of you all. Somebody's carefully being watched. Um, so, there's, there's, there's prison and somebody's been real diligently uh, being watched or something's been happening in the night time for some of you all. Uh, there's, a, there's a pearl here of great price. Uh, this also goes back to Gates. Gates might have some type of a um, prevalent um, significance for you in this energy that the word is also crystal. Your name could be crystal or fine crystal, something of expense is here showing itself show me the last card please for scorpio yolda uh we have so a desire is it now this just came out in the libra reading um this is also states that there's something of value here as well um there's like a choice delicacy as well showing up but there's lust somebody's been lusting after some things let's get into your reading so major stuff. But this too shall pass. Okay. So, you know, if you're dealing with somebody who's, who's just crazy and given to all the other stuff that's been coming out, somebody has is, is got the mark of the beast on them and it's going to pass because Jehovah really is judging something. And those of you who are in love and you only have eyes for the, them, well, baby, they are, they know it. They feel it. They know it. And if you already do know it and you're already connecting, they know it. And it's truthful energy. These are the people that will be in the upright. They, they live for truth. They walk in the truth. They're not afraid of the truth. There's something here. There's also been some type of an invention around somebody. And they've just been real cunning with their devices, it says. Show me Scorpio energy, please, Jehovah. What's going on with Scorpio energy? Show me Scorpio. Thank you. So there's the wheel coming out here. Um, this is um, the hand of the divine. This goes back to authority as well. This is the husband. This is some type of protection around somebody. This is somebody who's getting balance. This is the truth. This is very karmic activity going on. So if it's going the other way, and it's for the people that's in the, got the freaking mark of the beast on them, they're real big time exaggerators. Okay? Real big time exaggerators. They're overindulgers and stuff like that. Uh, something could happen on a travel trip or something like that or something with the wheel is here. We had a tire shop that came out um, in one of the readings uh so but this is luck and uh this is michael and uh, the archangel michael is appearing on this card and it's a time of positive change because this too shall pass because it's a divine timing of inevitable fate that you'll this fixing to turn this is the letter y is here i'm seeing a couple of h connections there's an s there's a b showing itself an r and we have the m we actually have the the name michael showing up here as well um, we have the L here, the D is here as well. We have several H's appearing. So, you know, if you've got a family that their names are, you know, 
beginning or ending with H or actually be ending or whatever. That's really heavy out here. And then the Y, like I said. So we have the Page of Cups. This is a surprise. This is an announcement. This is being very intuitive. Somebody else also had the Page of Cups. I want to say it came out in this other deck that I'm going to use. This is a um, love energy, but it's also a seducing energy. Okay? As somebody's been very seducing around somebody, and for some cases they have been. We have lustful energy here. Somebody very creative within that. But somebody, you know, if there's law around somebody, they would know the truth. If you're standing in the truth, you just can't pull one over on that energy. You just can't. Okay? But this is a unconditional. This is, there's a law right there as well. This is unconditional love with this energy. Given what's out here, we have truthful love connections going on. And somebody is desiring of something of great value is here. A lot of fortune here with this card as well. And then we also have gifts and money and uh, efforts and career opportunities showing up here with the Six of uh, Pentacles. Uh, this is a generosity card, but also do ha does have the scales within it, okay? So, obviously, that's a real karmic energy itself at the bottom of the deck. We have the Ten of Swords. So, some of y'all are dealing with it. Obviously, we've got the Mark of the Beast out here. I mean, anything's possible, people. It just is. So we really don't have to go any further. Just go watch all the other readings. <laughs> you and Sagittarius' energy is the last... Um, uh, video that I'm doing so but this is the end of a difficult cycle I mean the cycle is right here it's literally inevitably turning by the hand of the great one uh, okay because here we win Jehovah wins and the Michael and his angels win it's here right here right now uh, somebody going down because he's burning a freaking witch because he said it he said it somebody's had an addictive energy here with this lustful stuff or maybe thieving somebody you could be dealing with somebody's got back issues a lot of times it's is somebody that has a lot of stabbings uh, on their back. Uh, we're dealing with sacrificial things as well to really come out in these readings. Um, but something's been really difficult. You need to embrace the change, it states, and expect for things to get better. Because it says there's a time of positive change, and the situation is suddenly moving forward, just like that. And there's something fortunate here. And there's gifts here and everything else. Some people have been dealing with payouts and debts and stuff like that. Show me energy for Scorpio. Show me energy for Scorpio. You could work for design of something. I'm not sure. Show me Scorpio energy, please. Thank you. Well, we got a lot. I don't really want all those. Um, we have the Ten of Cups. That's real emotional stuff. That's emotional um, fulfillment with family and stuff like that. We also have the King of Wands is out here. And the King of Wands in the upright is very beautiful energy. He's very spiritual. Let's think back to spirituality. Uh, if he's got the mark of the beast on him, he's just a hothead. He's getting judged. He's getting thrown in the freaking fire. He's a witch. He's a warlock and all that. And he's just prideful because we got the lion right here. You can work for the zoo or know somebody connected. You don't have to. I just bring that stuff out here. Um, you can work for the law for all I know. But the King of Wands is beautiful energy in the upright. Upright. He's very managed. He'd get up and fight. And he also would represent protection. He'd be the lower uh, version of the emperor. Okay. So we do have protection energies around somebody. We have the strength card here as well. The strength card also came out in uh, a couple of readings. Look, the Leo, if this Leo, because Leo's uh, obviously holding it in this uh, deck, they really got scorned. They re the, the great divine really scorned them in their readings, really coming out here, attached to your energy. Uh, this is uh, death issues with the strength card. I say that if you are new because it's the letter H, is the het, and it represents passing from one space to the next. It is death energies. I also go back to children real big then. We do have a couple here holding a child as well and so whatever that is uh so we have the seven of wands and somebody's been somebody's been trying to block somebody putting up some stupid walls and things like that this is a victory card though and somebody's slaying the freaking dragon the beast is going down people it's going down because you always said so uh so we have the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth maybe about a queen of cups or this is lovely energy somebody's uh loving on somebody and and uh there's there's connection energy here this is your energy scorpio um but it could be a pisces it could be a sagittarius it could be a libra gemini um uh, leo is here 
um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is out here. Any of these other connections that are brought out. So th this is a healing type of energy with the Queen of Cups coming out here. She's very sweet, very kind. If she's in the negative for some of you all, this is a seduction energy at its finest. Very intelligent. Would know how to pour on the sweets and lock you in. And there, you're in a ditch at that point. Yeah, we got, look, people. The Ten of Swords is showing up twice. Somebody really been backstabbed really bad and somebody has not been freaking nice. Somebody has been uh, under some type of uh, addiction or has had some addictions for some of you all. But there's an ending. Look, these will break down to the Ace and you get the Ace here as well. Something with the Sword is here. Now, I will say, uh, who had that? There were two readings, I think, back to back. It may have been Virgo and Libra and Libra's energy is appearing here. Somebody was cut literally in, in, in sunder. Okay, something with that is going on with sacrificial things okay so whatever this is then we do have a victory though here for y'all show me what is uh, hidden for scorpio so those of you who are in the upright this lovely energy coming out for this is the best reading uh, actually that i've had that, that my energy wasn't just rah, coming out of me because boy in, in a couple of those boy i just was like my god you always just really was in me coming out and prophesying a thing and but there's lovely energy here for you all because the, we're seeing the literal beast be slayed here and put down and so it's just fixing to go into the fire that's positive show me what is hidden please for scorpio you'll hold up that they need to know about that's around them there's messages here guys there really is messages here Show me Scorpio energy, please. Okay, so the owls came out. I want to say it was in Virgo's reading. It's in the hidden. So there's gossipy things going on. Now, I guess if you work for the law and things like that, and obviously we've got death energies here and uh, stuff that's connected to children in custody and things like that. And if you've gotten stolen from... I'm just saying that because I've had energies here lately that somebody had a business they got stolen from. We got fortune out here and we got pearls and crystals and all kinds of stuff out here. But there's gossipy stuff. But if nothing else, there's just gossip around some people. These are short trips going on as well. Um, this is some type of excitement, curiosity uh, with this card. Um, just some type of communication is here. You got it right here as well. We also have the hostile little wussy. <laughs> if somebody goes to the gym or whatever, they're repetitious at what they do. They're, they've got the freaking mark of the beast on them because all they do is just cause nothing but a freaking conflict. This is abusive anger energy here with your um, reading. This is pain of some kind. This is somebody also has addictions. We got both the addiction energy showing up here. There's the mice, and look, people, the mice are worrisome, uh, trouble, and mistakes, and chaos, and anxiety, and this is a theft card. Also, if somebody's been in denial, then they freaking have, all they do is just cause a freaking ruckus, and everything else, and they, because they got the freaking beast on them, they, they don't have any understanding in it, people, they just don't. We have the children card coming out, and that children's card now showed itself. Uh, I think this is the third time it showed itself. Go watch the Capricorn reading. That's where the sun is at. This could be somebody that, obviously, if some of y'all have baby mama wars, and you do. Um, some of you all are dealing with somebody who you may have had some type of education, uh, um, you know, back in the day with, um, that you went to school with. This could be a student card, or it's your child energy is here, or you're dealing with somebody who's very immature. This is an immature card, Okay. Um, what else is this card? Just something about the youth is here. Also, it's it's a playful, fun card. And some of y'all have love energy here. Uh, somebody, though, has been trying to catch somebody up on the net and to, you know, trap them in there and all of that crap. I want to look up a word for you all real quick. You know, it just never ceases to amaze me how Jehovah will bring out a thing. You know, we have the mark of the beast here. We got a picture of somebody's got victory over the beast itself. <laughs> oh my God. And the word literally that's coming out here with the het and the uh, yod, which is authority over a thing, it goes back to a beast. <laughs> it, also, it goes back to substance. It goes back to the word live or your stomach or something like that. Well, you know, obviously, um, where was that at? Was that in another... 
hold on a minute. I want to say that I've seen something that came out here. No, it may have been in another reading. No, it wasn't here. Um, yeah, delicacy. <laughs> this goes back to your stomach and, and eating and things like that. Well, anyway, what that means. But this goes back, also back to a, the literal organ that holds the food itself. And um, it goes back to literally a beast is here. That's huge, people. It's huge. You know, we have scripture stating that their their um, their God would be their stomach and stuff like that. So it's connected to the stuff. Now, somebody had fat in their reading. I think it was Virgo that had that word, fat. But it went back to ashes and an altar and everything like that. I mean, all, really everything is, is intertwined. That energy would be found there, but it's just amazing how expressively he can use one word and then use it and connect it for somebody else's reading because it's, it's really all found in their base chart somehow. So, um, we have somebody also being quickened here. Their sustenance. Uh, you know, somebody's had their food taken away as well because we have thievery. Uh, you know, somebody's been, you know, thieved by their their gates being opened. Somebody coming in and taking from them. Then that energy really is here. Uh, but this never ceases to amaze me, people, that when you hope brings a thing out, by God, he's going to bring it out. Let every word be established in two or three witnesses. When he says this too shall pass, if you're in any kind of anxiety, y'all need to get out of it. Jehovah's got this. He really got you showing an ending here, an ending here, a new beginning here, the will turning here, it's changing, it's going to pass. You got a victory here, and the beast is down, okay? This little wuss that's in the whatever, this energy is fixing to get judged so freaking hard because they just think that they're all that in a bag of chips and they're just nothing but nastiness and you all of a sudden I'm burning that person now it's over it's time it's an inevitable fate taking place there's a judgment on some people now all right so anyway this is this is beautiful energy it's luck Everything re uh, that has been stolen is going to be turned back to you. And you're always going to make the enemy bow and do that for you. Okay? So this this was actually, like I said, this is the best reading that I've done thus far. Uh, so that's great. And so lift up your head and let Jehovah give you courage. Okay? Uh, somebody's got somebody that they're in love with and they feel it too. Okay? And, you know, even if you are meeting with somebody in these short trips and you're having a conversation with, your, with them, I'm talking about people who are upright okay those people who are under the the beast control they're traps that that's all they are i'm not talking to you that card did not come out for those people this is for somebody who needs to know that somebody feels if you if you know that you are, have somebody that you've been separated from because we had some energies come out that people have been separated that person knows how you feel they feel it too hang on because there's there's divine timing at play on some stuff okay all right scorpio uh enjoy your season and those of you who are in the negative well your time is up you're going into the fire that's just your luck shalom